Satnam. Let's do it. Good morning and happy Sunday. It's a full yes. moon. Yes. Full moon in Aquarius, second full moon. And, you know, this is in alignment with, the reason this is so big is because of the alignment it had with um, the uh, Saturn and Jupiter conjunction and then the Taurus and Saturn connection, all of this in Aquarius happening all through these. A lot of this, connections. There, <laughs> yes, through this last year, kind of catapulting us like, do you understand that your Leo part, self-love, is what heals the world, Aquarius? We are in the, so today it's like the bookend and you've gone through a lot. There's been lots of crazy cosmic energy, especially this last week building to this full moon. It's really about changing the narrative, you personally changing your spiritual love story between you and God and your soul to vote for, for an intimate connection with your higher power, knowing that that is the single most important thing that colors all of your life and in the end is our only, only hope for elevating humanity into a place where we no longer need to use violence in order to be heard. Wow, and how do we do that? Whew. Well, it starts with waking up and doing what you are supposed to be doing because mm -hmm. you told yourself you were going to be doing it. It always starts and ends with your personal commitment to your life. And there is something about it being first, first, first thing. When that happens, it sets up the whole day that you plugged into God, you put you first, and now no matter what happened, that is, you know, that is the energy that colors the day. Otherwise, it's that same old story. You're in the backseat of your, your life's car. Yeah. You're not your first choice. Um, yeah, you know, sadhana is the victory. Sadhana is the discipline, and it leads to this love affair with God that reveals our true dharma. Only by doing sadhana, and not only just sadhana, you know, group practice a couple times a week, having these different ways that you're integrating kundalini into the householder's life helps God have an inlet so that you can actually hear what the divine is saying to you. Yeah, it's pretty amazing how life is set up for you just the way it is, like just where we are in life right now, exactly the way everything is with your personal schedule and your life and how your life is going, how everything around you is set up for you to experience victory. You know, wake up, do your sadhana, feel victory. Take a class, maybe once a week, twice a week, pick out a day, morning or evening you know, a weekend. It doesn't matter, but it's all set up for you to feel victory. Yeah, and the victory happens in your life. You know, um, the sadhana sometimes feels great. Sometimes it's just ugh, ordinary. It doesn't matter. The sadhana... Never had a bad sadhana. No, it's never bad. But we can judge it. You know, we can go, yep. oh my God, my mind is racing through the whole thing. It doesn't matter. Better to have your mind race and be undisciplined in sadhana, where you're at least watching it do it, than to not do it at all and go into your day totally unprepared for, you know, um, combating the mind and keeping yourself in your life. Absolutely. And that's where consistency comes in. So you... You know, some days I walk away like, oh, wow, what was that? You know, I kind of feel like I wasn't even, I wasn't present to my sadhana because my mind was just on this terror, you know, about what I had to do that morning or later that day or what happened yesterday, whatever it may be. And the reality is through the consistency of doing it on a daily basis, it just, it just leaps right over it and just continues on with with building the containment you know leading me to contentment so you know there's no such thing as a bad sadhana so we are on the 32nd day um the sun and the moon are at 29 degrees 29 degrees leo 29 degree, degrees aquarius the 29th sometimes this is like a 
an intense day because it's like the sun's like, okay, this is the last chance I can really talk to you about self-love. The, the next eight days we will be in Virgo, which is what we become. So I really challenge all of us to dedicate ourselves, listen to all the pep talks, read the text, do your sadhana, amp up the energy in this, in this Virgo sun that we're going to enter on Monday to become a new version of you that is more spiritually connected and supported by God. However that looks to you, hold that in your third eye and walk towards that light. Yes, let's walk together hand in hand up the mountain, leaving no one behind. Yes. Well, we will see you on the other side. What is coming up? Oh, tomorrow morning, sadhana in the morning. I'll be sending oh, out yeah. the, the link. We have two more. The very last one is next Monday, and that's the last day of this energetic. Mm. Oh, we're going to miss you. Hey, and you know what? You know how much this has shook you up and changed. The big, the big nugget, take the guru is you. Those deep dives, it's like seven weekends. The first one is four. And if you're afraid to bite off the whole thing, you can start with the three-day immersion. But there is nothing like it. If only to make sh- to really cement this technology to give you grit, to give you the strength to maintain the light in these challenging times. Um, because you're in this program, I'm happy to work with you on the pricing. I love you guys. I know that um, there's nothing like the Guru is you. You know whether I mean some people che- teach it and share it. Some people um, renew their vows in their marriage. Some people finally fall in love. Some people buy the house they want. It always it always gives this big healing that you've been trying to get to that for whatever reason was blocked. That's what the Guru is you does because the Guru is inside of us. It's when the light and the dark merge together and rotate in your life, cleaning out which was, what has been kept blocked so you can stand in the glory of your soul. Huh. I don't know why I said all that. Okay. Love you guys. We will see you in Sadna tomorrow. Satnam. Let's do it. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Holy Mother. Holy Mother. I bow my head and open my heart. I bow my head and open my heart. Cleanse me in the light of this full moon. Cleanse me in the light of this full moon. Direct my thinking to the highest. Direct my thinking to the highest. Let love move me. Let love move me. Into the space that you would have me, Lord. Into the space that you would have me, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Satnam. Satnam. Have a great day.